What is up ladies and gentlemen and beautiful people of the Crasher community? How are you guys doing today? We're back with a new video on the channel. Thank you very much for tuning on in and ladies and gentlemen in today's video we revisit a very 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 familiar subject on the channel revolving around Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go players are refusing to contribute Pokestops following ban mishap. Pokemon Go players are unofficially boycotting the app's Pokestop creation mechanic. Many are doing so in response to what they perceive as unfair bans from Niantic. Pokemon Go's player base has a tenuous relationship with the app's developer Niantic. Fickle account losses and questionable moderation are just some of the issues that have strained things previously. And let's also not forget to include the fact that they are completely tone deaf. They do not give a single hell about player feedback and community spirit. And honestly, we could get into an entire library of all of the things that Niantic has fucked up on and all the things wrong with Niantic just from 2023 by itself. But rather than that, sparing you guys hours of recaps, I'll just encourage you guys to look on my channel. We have a library of videos documenting their bullshit just from this year alone. Pokestops have frequently caused tension between Niantic and fans of Pokemon Go, although the criticism is inconsistent. Some decry the more baffling inclusions, while others want the developer to loosen its restrictions on Pokestops submissions. These controversial Pokestop regulations resulted in a rather bizarre ban recently. Recently. Since then, a simple meme posted by Reddit user BlackCouchy1990 has prompted discussion of a boycott on Pokestop contributions from players. And that, of course, is in reference to Wayfarer. And I've spoken about this, but to kind of give a bit of paraphrasing on my past thoughts about it, the system is entirely bullshit. I have covered instances of players being banned for no reason. They simply put, tried to make submissions for Pokestops in their areas, and rather than being rewarded for their troubles, instead they get punished as if they did something wrong. Meanwhile, there are instances, I'm not naming names or naming anything out, but just stay with me here, when we have actual instances of rules being broken and nothing is being done about that to rectify it, whereas innocent players are being punished as if they did something wrong. It's complete and utter bullshit, and it's not just being banned from Wayfarer for an extended period of time, but it ties into your Pokemon Go account as well. So imagine if you are trying really, really hard to get some Pokestops in your area that might not have all that many Pokestops to begin with, and instead of there being the possibility of you getting Pokestops, instead you get banned from playing Pokemon Go for 30 days, for 60 days, for 90 days. However long the ban duration is, it's absolutely fucking ridiculous. And this right here is the meme in question, and it is a scene from The Simpsons, and it's captioned as the following. For contributing to create Pokestops, you have a 30-day ban. And to show you we're serious, you now have a 90-day ban. And while this meme is funny in nature, the accuracy is actually quite alarming. I refuse to contribute now, one player vowed. I refuse to even review now. Apparently, accounts that let poor Pokestops through are getting banned too, another replied. I can't spot every fake. Many agreed with the sentiment and criticized both Niantic and players who reported Pokestops in general. After all this nonsense, you can bet that I won't be submitting any more, one user explained. Why risk some kind of penalty from these shitbirds not liking my submission? Oh yeah, I should also showcase this as well. It's a screenshot of a Pokestop, which is a literal ashtray. I have nothing more to say about this. This right here speaks all the volumes. You mean to tell me that bullshit like this is easily approvable, but actual legitimate stops that people are trying to submit as Pokestops for, somehow they're being punished, Niantic? Do you not see 
how utterly asinine this is. These issues were of particular concern to rural players who don't have many local landmarks to submit as worthwhile Pokestops, as I had kind of referenced earlier, by the way. Many risk potential sanctions for making the wrong suggestions. More and more commenters are reaching the post and aligning themselves with those hoping to boycott submissions. Whether this will have any sort of impact remains to be seen. Well, here's something that I think might actually get through Niantic's thick skull of theirs, and that is to actually have a legitimate solid boycott of either the game or in-app purchases or Wayfair because all of these light threats of boycotting, all of these even light boycotts that last a very short period of time, at the end of the day, the quote effects doesn't affect the bottom line of Niantic all that much. If people are still contributing towards rewarding Niantic, despite all of the bullshit that they have put their player base through. And look it, someone had to say it, all right? I'm not trying to say all this to be a dickhead or anything like that. I genuinely care about player satisfaction. I genuinely care about the Pokemon Go community. I may not play the game, but that doesn't mean I've stopped caring about what is right. And what is right in this situation is for Pokemon Go players to be treated with some goddamn respect. Because without them, Pokemon Go would be dead. Niantic would not have the successes that they do today without the Pokemon Go players and their dedication and love for Pokemon that you drag further and further down the abyss with your Bullshit. I don't know what else I can say about this, ladies and gentlemen. It just honestly pisses me off that this is still, still going on, and Niantic are dragging their feet, and they aren't doing anything to at least try to rectify the valid concerns and valid problems that their system has. It's like they don't care at all. Like, you got players out there that live in rural areas that are trying to make their areas at least a little bit more tolerable. And rather than being rewarded for their efforts, they are being punished. Like I said before, it's absolute bullshit. So let me know your guys' thoughts about this, and also a question I have for you guys. Do you have any experiences in regards to this right here? Or do you happen to know anyone that has experiences when it comes to this subject right here? Either way, I'd love to hear you guys back in the comments down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and do not fall for Niantic's bullshit. I'll see you guys next time.